All right, awesome guys. So the next section going down our demo site we want to create is our subscribe form. So how do we do that? Well, let's take a look. We can go back to customize where almost everything seems to be going on now. And we're going to go down to the widgets and click on widgets and then click on widget area under featured area. So here's our featured area and we want to put a widget underneath it. So we're going to grab the widget area under featured area and click add a widget. And then hopefully there's an option for the subscribe form because I really don't feel like making one from scratch. All right. And here we are a little bit confused which widget to add for our subscribe widget. So I'm going to pop back over to our little Solopine Tixie documentation. Thankfully there's one for how to set up Alder's newsletter widget. So we should call it a newsletter widget, not a subscribe widget, I guess. So it's going to say they come with custom stylings for MailChimp or WordPress. Da -da -da -da. Um, allows you to insert a newsletter sign-up form in your sidebar or beneath the featured area, which we're going to do both. Yep, and this will add someone to your MailChimp email list, so you can build an email list, you know, make money with email marketing, all that. And what we need to do is first sign up for MailChimp, step one. Create an audience. There are exact steps for how to do that. Generate the key, and then install the plugin. Right, so a little bit of steps here. We got to do the sign up for Mailchimp, install the plugin, sync everything, and then looks like we want to um, pop in some of this HTML code as well in the plugins um, forms if we want to make it look really good. And then lastly, we have to add the widget. Wow, how about that? That's like four big steps. But let's tackle this entire MailChimp newsletter setup together, and I know we can do it because we've climbed bigger mountains together before. So first off, why don't you open the show more description beneath the video and click on the link I'll give you to MailChimp. And this just gives me a little bit of credit for sending you over to MailChimp, and uh, I guess makes this whole process a little bit um, more worth it for little old me over here, I guess, uh, that's to put it bluntly. Or you can just click on the MailChimp.com link here, but if you want to give credit to me, use uh, that MailChimp link or any of the links in the description below. Thanks a ton. So here we are at MailChimp, and I'm guessing it's your first MailChimp. So we're going to first accept the cookies, and then we're going to sign up for free. All right, you're going to give them a unique email address and do the basic sign up process. That's a little too complicated for the username. How about just dear blogger and get started. All right, then they're going to confirm. So you're going to open up your email, wherever your email headquarters is. Give it a second if it doesn't show up right away. All right, and you might need to activate your um, MailChimp account from your spam folder. They might send that to your spam folder. But I just told Gmail it's not spam. All right, so we're going to open this up and click Activate Account once you receive this MailChimp email. I'm not a robot. And we're in. Awesome. So obviously we want the free plan. We can get 2,000 contacts with that, so it'll be great for your new blog business and complete. All right, because they're an email marketing provider, they're going to have some basic details. Um, if it's a little bit much for you, then just try to breeze through this quickly. And you do need an address because of the laws of email marketing, but it can be like a P.O. box, so you can use different sorts of addresses. We're going to say no, we don't have an email list of subscribers yet because we're brand new and continue. We'll leave the social media alone for now and continue. And then let's do it. Just some really nice questions from MailChimp so they can get to know you better and provide you with like the best little recommendations. And it actually does work, so I'd go ahead and click yes or no to all those. And no email marketing because we have enough emails. All right, here we go. So now we're finally in MailChimp. Let's get our list set up and get that form onto WordPress like this, most importantly. So for MailChimp, we're going to click on Audience and then click Manage Audience and View Audiences. And here we have the audience we just created today together. But if MailChimp didn't set you up with a default audience in the steps we just did, then go ahead and click Create Audience and just give them the basic information like your brand name and create that audience. So we're all set. We just need to go to our account page now. It's a little bit tricky, but we can do this together. Let's just click on our name in the upper right 
and then click account and then hit extras and API keys. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna scroll down and it's gonna say we have no API keys, so we need to create a key. And I'm not sure what a Mandrel API key is, but we just want this normal key. Perfect, now we can just double click and copy the whole key, just a bunch of letters and numbers, unique to your email list, and we're gonna go back to WordPress. Okay, beautiful, so back in WordPress, we're gonna X out of the customize area, because we need to get to our plugins. Let's go to our dashboard. <clears throat> Man, our site is looking pretty. We're gonna hover on plugins and click add new, and we're gonna look up MailChimp. So there might be some random MailChimp plugins, but we just want the main one. And we can double check what it's called. It's just gonna be called MailChimp for WP. So let's make that a little more specific. MailChimp for WP. And nailed it. So it's this one in the upper left. And we can click install now. For some reason that MC4WP threw me off. And click activate. Okay, we're almost there now. We're gonna to go to the settings for MailChimp. So here we are in the plugins, and a lot of times you'll get a settings link such as this little link right here, kind of hidden beneath the title. So click on that, and then right away you can pop in your API key. So great job. If you followed me through this part, you are almost there with your email marketing newsletter. You're gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to start creating newsletters, sending out ebooks, and monetizing everything. And the coolest thing is we're doing it for free. So let's save the changes. And now we're gonna go to forms or just form. There's form, beautiful. All right, and we have, it looks like one form somewhere. Where is that form? Okay, we just need to click to form again. So here we are in form and it's gonna say, what's the name? All right, well, we'll call it Bluehost Setup Subscribe Homepage Form. I like being really detailed with my forms in case you use multiple. Like I have a dear blogger, then you can see which one performs the best over time and add new form with that box checked, of course. Okay, beautiful, so it's gonna give you a really nice default form with your email address. And while you might be able to edit this HTML in here and change things like what it says, like email address, you know, you could write like blah, blah, and they'll just write that in on the right for you in the little form preview. Let's go ahead and follow the directions and use the alter code and see what it looks like. So we're gonna copy this from the Solo Pine Tixie article and pop it in right here in form code. I'm just gonna delete the code and paste the new code. Nice, so it looks good. They made us a cool looking join the family form. So we're gonna stick with this form and the final step we need to do to insert this newsletter onto our site is to go to widgets, add the MailChimp signup form to the widget area under our featured area or the sidebar. Okay, so let's make sure that we save changes and now we can go back to customize and finish the job. Let's hover on appearance and click customize. All right, and we're gonna go to widgets, widget area under the featured area, add a widget. Let's see if we have the MailChimp widget now, which we should. Where are you, widget? There it is, nice, let's work for a second. Click on that sign up form widget, and voila, we did it. Awesome, congratulations, guys and let's publish. And you might have a feeling like me now that we can kill two birds with one stone here by adding that subscribe widget, aka newsletter widget, to our sidebar like this. So we get one more piece of the puzzle completed. So let's do it. Let's go back and enter the sidebar widgets. And we are gonna click add a widget, go down and get the MailChimp subscribe form again. So the cool thing about widgets in WordPress is you can use them in as many places as you want. All right, and there she is, awesome.